How's it going guys? So I've got a great video for you guys today. Um, I finally took a mountain biking skills class uh, from Ian Massey. So Ian Massey is an instructor here. He's a local instructor here in the Bay Area. So I've met him a few times in the trails in Joaquin Miller Park uh, doing his class and I've been wanting to take a class ever since but um, um, I knew that he does bike suspension and bike setup uh, for free. That's included in his um, fundamentals class. So I kind of waited a little bit since uh, deep down uh, I knew that um, I wanted to buy a you know a, a, a more blingy bike, a, you know, a better bike than my Diamondback. So um, I waited, and uh, I finally took the class now since I bought my new Bronson. And uh, I want to show you two guys um, just a little um, snippet of what he does, and uh, you know, just to show you what to expect when you take his class. And it, I really, hi I highly recommend it, especially if you live here around the Bay Area. Just go take his class; um, it's really worth the money. Um, I'm going to leave the all the links that you need um, in the description below uh, so you can check out his website and his uh, social media links. So um, yeah, let's get started. The morning of the class, the Oakland Fire Department just decided to close Joaquin Miller Park. So we couldn't really continue with the class that day. But Ian was so cool about it and he didn't really want to waste our time. And we went ahead to a nearby parking lot and set up our bike suspension. So here he also gave us some quick tips on proper body positioning on a bike and how to hold that position. So these brakes are plenty powerful. So we're gonna bring the brake levers back and in. Gonna bring this over a little bit as well. So you can be sucking up bumps, turning, and all of your stuff is still right there. And see here when he kicked that front wheel, uh, it remained stable. So we naturally want to push and pull, right? But then the wheel just starts going everywhere. So the center of your bar and, and your hub are the same gyro plane. So if you hold the center of a gyro, it's yours. If you push and pull a gyro, it gets pushed and pulled. So Ian started working on my friend's bike. He taught us uh, how to properly adjust the brake levers, the shifters and handlebars, and even the spacers to get that uh, perfect fit in the bike. Mm -hmm. You might feel a couple more bumps on the trail when mm -hmm. you're going slow, mm -hmm. but when you're going faster, the bike's going to start working better. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing you bought this bike to work better when stuff gets real, right? Mm -hmm. that, that's why we do it. Yeah. And revalve them. I change them to make them work the way I want. Watch how even it is. Whoa. <laughs> but now it's going to feel better than it's ever felt. So, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your bar's up just a little bit. And what mm. we might do is bring your bar down a spacer or two. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I think this is still going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But I've seen in your pictures when you were riding, mm -hmm. you were like this. Oh. And what it was is if your bars are really high, what's it make your shoulder want to do? So hands are right there. So now I'm going to bring all the controls in to adjust proportionately. Yeah. Maybe go inwards more? Yep, we're going to go yeah. inwards. Where, where's that going to help the elbow go? So it went down to like also, 71, some, 72. Also, sometimes, but your thing is, it's actually just going to make, it's going to make the first bump softer, but it doesn't make the second or I, third one I softer. I noticed that, yeah. You can see him here explaining all the adjustments on my fork, uh, the low and high speed compression and low and high speed rebound. Path of least resistance speed for the wheel to kick. The knee and work on the suspension to get that balanced feel and he actually made my bike feel a lot snappier, more lively and smoother on the rough stuff. A bit of low speed, but take away a little bit of high speed. If my weight's on the front leg and I pull, it goes right back down. And if I preload, it comes up even less, right? But it's easier to take lift off suspension because it doesn't take as much muscle. Mm. All right, so after a few hours dialing in our bikes, we came back the next day to do the actual skills class in Joaquin Miller Park. We started off practicing with the ready position of the bike and just getting that feel of using the muscles that we need to engage more when riding, just like the hamstring and the glutes. There we go. You feel how that weight gets increased? Mm -hmm. So this is when we stand up out of the saddle to put more weight in the pedals and we pull a little bit. This is called, we're, we're leveraging our weight. So if I go down first and I load my suspension and I grab my bar, my weight is in the middle and I'm trying to get, and, I, and they talk about low pushing back, right? If I push back, where's my body immediately go? Where's all your weight stay? What do you feel tugging? You feel your hamstrings? Where do you not go? Every time I let go of you, where do you go again? Back. So 
He also explained how that translates to being able to move around in the bike and lifting the front wheel and bunny hopping while remaining stable when you land. Sit. That's a manual. And how upright was I? How Could I move? Could I still bring my hip up? So in this part, he showed us what not to do when going through the rough stuff. And look at how easy and stable he goes through the planks here when he used the proper position and technique. And what can I still do with this, guys? Sit. There we go. But don't drop the upper body. Don't drop the back of your body. How soft is that? Yeah. So here he also showed us how to corner more efficiently and be much more stable than how my friend and I learned how to corner. Open hips. Make the shoulders hurt. Then we went on to getting the proper technique on lifting the front wheel or doing a uh, quick manual, uh, loading the rear axle, keeping your heels down, all that good stuff. Don't adjust. Don't move. Don't move. So now we're on to pedaling through technical sections. Um, this lug in the middle doesn't look like much in the video, but it's a pretty decent size, maybe around 12 inches in diameter. Go back with the elbows. Go back with the elbows. How much easier is that? After that, we start having fun now trying to manual through the same lug. So uh, going through this feature using Ian's techniques uh, totally blew my mind. And it also felt a lot more stable uh, and smooth and just effortless. Better? Yeah. So um, yeah, I'll pass on this one, Ian. Perfect. Hold your body. So more fun stuff here using the same technique that we learned earlier going through the stairs, uh, some step downs and climbing up uh, ledges. Some great stuff. Sit into the back leg and stay. Open those hips. Yeah. Alright, so that's it guys. I'm so glad that I took Ian's fundamentals class with the bike setup. So if you just bought a new bike and it feels like it rides like crap, it's not the bike. It's the suspension that you need to get dialed and also get the proper bike fit. And when you pair that with the skills that you learn in this class, um, I'm pretty sure that you'll ride a lot faster and more confident like I started to do. So again, if you're interested, check out the website, trailtechnique.com and I'll have all the links that you need in the uh, description below. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. So you have a nice mountain bike. Now what? Wow. See you guys on the next trail.